the issue of the expiry uh, date too will also go perhaps to those commercial ones too. Yeah. Because if it's already packed, yes, you don't want to start loosening up. They know you're not for you to yeah. start searching. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, should we think twice with such That's or? What I said. We should have a discussion, for instance, with... Definitely. If you're buying a hamper and somebody... So, because right now I've got so many things on my WhatsApp. I make hampers, I make hampers. Sit down and tell them what you want. Now, unfortunately, you, might, you may tell them what you want. You may have identified what you want, but you're not going to be there when they're packaging it. Okay, so even so you the hamper, uh, the person Contractor. doing it for, uh, as, uh, commercially should also watch out. Yes. Yes, because I know, um, I'm going to say another item now. For example, there was a hamper that we received um, sometime last year, my family received, and it looked so beautiful. It was massive. It was beautifully packaged and everything. And of course, you're, because you don't want to tamper with it, you're leaving it there for decoration. Now, it was time for us to open up the hamper, and I told my, my cook, please open up the hamper. And lo and below, after taking out the items, there was a big box of um, I think it was wines or some special kind of wine that was inside. Of course, it was used to occupy space anyway because it was a box of six wines and the box was empty. <laughs> wow. The box was empty. Pudding. Complete shock. <laughs> Honestly. And, um, oh, have you seen the one with, you'll find um, Cut bot on its bottled cuts. water? You know, it's Bottle so heavy. Water. Yeah. So heavy to make so it, to give it, it some it, weight. It, yes. Well, the, the wines look so, the box looks so nice and enticing. I just, Madam, Madam, the box is empty. And I was shocked. I said, what? Oh, sometimes half of the content is there. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When we um, actually mentioned it to the person who gave it to us, he got several calls the same way that those boxes wow. were empty. Now, so that, speaking, that speaking, speaking to the contractor, she says she wasn't even aware that her guys had taken out the items. Wow. Because she bought them. But it was the people who packaged them for her that had the issue. So everybody so must So it's be. like you have to have your four eyes on ground. <laughs> because she said she bought them. She just gave them to, because she was doing so many, she can't be there watching every single mm -hmm. one. But I guess right now you have to, because that was spoiling her business. And yeah. she was really upset because it really tarnished her business. And of course, nobody, it's, it's you know, it's, there's no second guessing. Will you order from her again this year? Absolutely no. not. You know, and even then at that point, then you, you want to buy a hamper for someone. You need to consider who are you buying this hamper for, for religious and cultural reasons. There's no point in buying this beautiful luxury hamper that's full of alcohol and the person doesn't drink alcohol. It means you are insensitive to the person that you're giving it to. So you have to be mindful. So you might do a group, um, different hampers, depending on who you're going to give it to. So, and insensitivity is what you don't want around this festive period. You can't just say, take this hamper, you open it up, it's full of um, things that are very contrary to their beliefs and their religion. It doesn't make sense. Mm. It, it, it doesn't speak well so of you, need you to as a person. That so you need person. to consider the person that you're giving it to. Even the age as well. You know, you're giving something to a chairman of an organization, and that person is in the, you know, the, the older, multi-generational. <laughs> yes. You don't want to give them things that um, our young millennials would like. And then again, you don't want to put pile up. So, for example, you're giving something to an elderly person, and you put everything sugar sweets, chocolates, mm -hmm. they're not going to eat it. I mean, it's of no use. And that means you're also insensitive to the person that you're giving it to. And a lot of elderly people nowadays, they're very mindful of the kind of things that they consume. They take less sugar. And then you find that hamper, they probably end up giving that hamper to someone else. Mm -hmm. You see? So that you need to be mindful of that. Again, um, obsolete items, items or goods that they're no more in fashion. So you imagine an olden days mobile phone. The one that has that they used to call, you know, the one with the aerial and all of that. You have you had loads of them before, and you want to get rid of them. Nobody's using them. Everybody's using an Android, an Android phone. If you want to buy somebody a phone or give someone a phone, make sure it's going to be one that they can use. Mm -hmm. You know, so don't give them obsolete, outdated mm -hmm. items, whichever be the case. Even down to there's lace that you sell. You sell lace, and this is two years ago fashion, and you're just throwing it into a hamper for someone. You know what I mean? They're not likely going to use Though they may give it to someone else, but think about the person too. And it doesn't mean break the bank because you're trying to do a hamper for the person, but give them something that makes sense, you know, <laughs> when it comes to that. Um, 
Sometimes you may have been given something in a hamper the previous year or you were given it as a gift. Be mindful when you put in reused or recycled items because the box tells. So I'm very particular when I'm buying things. So sometimes you may go to the market and you want to buy something for someone and they give you a box that is rough and, and tattered. And I said, no, I'm giving this gift to someone. I don't want it to look as if it came out of my pantry or that I used it before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I said... Uh, the fresh, uh, the, the you know, natural... Perishable yes. food. Perishable. You're right. That's a new thing. But you know what? One thing about um, hampers is that you're supposed to avoid perishable goods. It's not by accident that they put Christmas cakes because they have put things in the Christmas cake to preserve it. So sometimes you give someone a hamper, they haven't come to pick it up on time, or they have the hamper sitting down for weeks and weeks in their house. When you put perishable items, you, it's either you're giving it to them immediately, to consume immediately, but you can't assume that people are going to consume them immediately. You have to be very mindful of perishable items inside a hamper. So you put things like... Um, pies or things that they want that they can eat now food items you have to be very sensitive to who you're giving it to why food poisoning well, perhaps also yeah. label food poisoning okay. yes perishable to be consumed within the next one week or something would be an ideal thing to put there you understand it looks nice it looks pretty but then fruits can spoil very easily pineapples leak and get soft so again you need to be mindful of who you're giving it to and and then how quickly they And then if, if for instance, yes. I get such, I should also know that... Yeah, so if you I do get a hamper, on. because it's coming trendy, now if you get a hamper full of loads of fruits and stuff, be mindful that within the first one to two weeks, it is consumed, you know, and anything that looks soft. So sometimes people put sponge cakes inside a hamper. Sponge cakes are not the ideal for hampers. By the time you open the hamper, the cake has gone green. I've seen that time and time again. And even a Christmas cake that hasn't been baked well as well turns fungus, goes into some fungi state of, yeah, especially if it's a cake that they had for a long time and they're putting it in the hamper, or you've had for a while and you haven't opened the hamper. So sometimes you get hampers that you, and you've traveled out and you come back and you see a host of hampers on the floor. You have to open them immediately for anything that could have expired, that could have spoiled, you know, because of food poisoning. Let's okay. look at wrapping. Yes, the wrapping is my favorite part. Um, sometimes I think people go to school to learn how to gift wrap. Yes, you know, some it's, of yes. them look so Some of them look nice. so beautiful, so you know, beautiful. Um, and it's all in the presentation as well. That's what makes it look very nice. But of course, without a doubt, your hamper should have cellophane that we have here. This hamper wrap, okay. To garnish it, always have ribbons or bows, you know, you may need sellotape, of course. But I always say, th this hamper wrap is very thin. So don't assume that when you put it at the bottom and you tie it like this, it is secure. Many a times, hampers are overloaded mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. and this is not secure. You may need to double this, but I always say, double, triple the base. That, the, um, the wrap under the underneath and then you can tie it and sometimes depending on how big the hamper is double wrap mm -hmm. for security yeah. for secure because sometimes it looks so pretty the person who handles it to take it and put it in the car accidentally pierces their hand mm -hmm. through it and before you know it items you know Fair come much. out and then again too with your hamper securely wrap it there are times when people actually look for spaces where they can put their hand in and you know out and things. take out items and that does happen so securely wrap your hamper and definitely without a doubt always add a card to the hamper to say who it is from i mean it, there's nothing like getting a hamper seeing it so pretty and not knowing who it came from mm -hmm. so add a ham add the card even add your complimentary card inside that card as well so that people know who to say thank you to that's all about hamper etiquette. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Uh, hampers, greetings. hampers. Oh, yes. you said you talk about big, small. Is that a small hamper? <laughs> this basket here. Look at this. Let me just yes. see this. And there's nothing there. Like, no, no. It's, uh, but a hamper could be this size, right? Yes. Well, absolutely. Yeah. yeah so. Yes. And that is actually to put in a bottle of something. So yeah, you put but, in a wine, 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 wine champagne. champagne. The neck of the bottle comes out here. And you wrap it up. And it looks very pretty. Mm. And it's not about how much you give somebody. It's about the thought that the counts. thought of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Janet. <laughs> Christmas welcome. hampers. Yes. Etiquette. Uh, the hamper breach, right? Yes. <laughs> 
reaching your hum yes, reaching hamper, your hamper free. And yes. watch out for expired products. Absolutely. Items. And empty yes. containers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Janet, right. thank you You're so welcome. much. The next time we're seeing you will be close to Christmas. So yes. we'll be talking about Christmas cakes Absolutely. and how to handle yourself yes. at Christmas. Correct. <laughs>